Hello and welcome to Soft Expert. Today in this video you will learn how to add extra options or add-ons to your WooCommerce products to collect more information from a customer. We mainly have two methods to collect extra information. The one method is to use a variable product where we can have different variation of a product. And another method is to have extra options for a product that we will be discussing in this video. So for example if you need a text box, drop down, switches or something, you can add extra options to your WooCommerce products and you can collect those info from the customers and there are a couple of plugins out there that you can use i have discussed one in my previous video which was free and in today's video we're gonna cover another plugin and then we will also see its pro version and the reason for choosing this plugin is this multi-step layout now by using other plugins we can list a number of options here but in this plugin we have this multi-step layout which was a requirement from my client so i found this plugin and wanted to share this with you as well and this is just a demo product from this plugin and these are some product add-ons if i click here this will switch the image and we also have different prices here okay and then we have a next step as well where we can collect more info like the closet width and height then the depth Obviously you can use these based on your need, you can have different products here and you can collect your desired info here. Then we can go next, where again we have this color switches, you can select any of these and then we can add it to cart. Now if I add it to cart and let's view cart, this will take me to the cart page along with the options that I have selected there ok. You can see how many queues, closet depth and so on. And besides this you can use this plugin for different purposes, let me show you. If you want to sell second clothing, book a classroom, book printing and so on, let's explore a few of these. So you can see we have different options here, first name, last name, we can add a student, let's say. And then we can add a new student and remove student and basically this is for booking a classroom, okay. This is another example where we have this checkbox, then we can choose the paper size. We can have cover types and paper type, then these and so on. So you can see these are on one page. If you don't like the multi-step layout, you can keep this one, okay? So if you need extra options for your products, then keep watching and let's start. The plugin that we're gonna use in this video is Advanced Product Fields, Product Headers for WooCommerce. You can scroll down, you can learn more about this plugin. These are the available fields. And these are in free version, okay? Then we have pro version as well. So first let's try the free version. We will just copy its name. And let's go to our Wolfis website. This is the website that we will be using in this video. This is by the way a 3D PDF that I have showed you in my last video. So let's go to its dashboard. And first make sure that you have WooCommerce installed. This is the plugin that will let us sell our products. And then you can go to products. And here make sure to add at least one product. I have added this just for this video and you can have multiple products here and then to install that plugin just go to plugins, add new, search for that plugin, you can see the plugin here just install and activate it and once you activate it you can go to its settings and you can enable this on cart and checkout if you want to. And you can also change add to cart text on the button. So we have select options. You can write any text here. And now to add the fields, you will find this product fields here. Just click on it. And the first step will be to add a group here. So just click on add new. And you can give it a title. So I'll call this group one just for example. Okay. And now you can start adding your fields. So just click on add your first field. And here you can choose the field type. It can either be a text, text area, number, email, URL, select and so on. And these options are available in the pro version. So let's keep it as text. We will call this just for example ok. You can write instruction for it. Then you can make it required or optional. This is the default value for this name field and the placeholder. And adjust pricing. If you enable it then you can add a fixed amount for this extra option okay so in the free version you will get option to add a flat fee and these options are available in the pro version you can add quantity based formula percentage amount times a field and so on so let's choose this for example and let's say it 5 and then you can give it specific width if you want to and that's it scroll down add a field 
here you can add a new one so let's try select i'll call this options this will be optional and we can add options here okay let's say one again you can set pricing for it two and three and this is just to show you okay i will show you this live on the website and in the same way you can add multiple fields and once you are done you can scroll down to condition where you can give them specific rules so add your first rule and authentication logged in so you can give it to a specific product and you can select a product i only have that one product here okay so let's say this is our condition and the rest of the condition are available in the freemium version okay then scroll down where you can change the layout so this will be the position of label instruction position and mark required field which will be this steric and change product image which is available in freemium okay so let's say these are our options we will just publish them and now let's check our product so you can see those info and this is the name field these are the options if i write something here it will add extra 50 here sorry 5 you can see over here okay so product total option total and grand total so in this way you can add multiple options to your commerce products this was easy now let's explore the premium version where i'll show you how you can have multi-step layout here and then how you can use images check boxes select boxes and all the premium resources okay now to get that premium version just follow the first link in the description which will take you to this page you can see advanced product fields for WooCommerce and this is the plugin's premium version okay you can learn more about this here on this page you can see many different field types conditional logics adjust final product price and these are some extra features and then some reviews from customers and then we have the pricing plans so this is 69 per year and 89 per year and 149 if you want to buy this for a lifetime you can switch to lifetime and now these are one time fee okay so based on your need you can decide any of these plans let me go in the first plan here i'll buy it so here you can write your email then choose your country and then click continue and it will take you to payments where you can pay with paypal and visa mastercard so let me pay this amount and that's it thank you for your purchase you can find your license key on this page and download your plugin from download section so this is our license key let me just copy it then to download the plugin we'll go to downloads and we'll download it here and this will give us a zip file now let's upload this to our workspace so to upload the plugin we'll go to plugins add new upload plugin choose file and we'll select that file and let's activate it and plugin activated once you activate the flow version the light version will automatically be deactivated okay and now again if i go to commerce product fields thank you for installing our plugin please activate your license so here we need that key i'll just click on it i will enter my license here and activate license now you can scroll down you will have more options instead of those two options that you can enable and disable based on your needs now again go to product fields and i'll use that same group or i can add a new group okay so let's use that one and here we have that name and options we will add a new one just to show you the flow features okay and now i'll get access to the flow features which is image switches multi image switches color switches and so on so let's try using image switches and let's say type and then we will add an option so just click on it and then we can select an image okay let me upload some images here and for the first one i'll use this one we will write the price up 50 and then we'll add a new option i'll choose this image and you can give them labels as well like names okay so let's say one and two 
and in the same way you can add multiple options here and label position image for row so on desktop it will show three images and one row on tablet on mobile and so on you can enable reviewer now now we have access to conditional logic as well so here we can select a field and we can decide rule for the next field and let's say if your name the value is empty or have any value or equal to or something you can decide conditions based on these okay then scroll down we have the conditions then the label position and so on and then if you want to add custom variable create dynamic variable to use formula based pricing this is a complete new topic where you can have different variables for the standard value and then we can decide rules for them okay let's scroll up and let's update this and let's check our product again if i refresh it now you can see those images options over here okay these were the previous fields and now i can select any of these options now you can design these images you can make them rounded you can give them any other borders or something and then you can use them over here but i was just showing you the plugin and its premium version and as in the start of this video i showed you this multi-step layout where we can divide these options in multiple steps and then we can select an option then go to next step and so on now this is also easy with this plugin but it required some custom php and css code so we will cover this in the next video which will be a very short video so stay tuned for that so this was advanced product fields add-ons for woocommerce you can get its free version or you can buy the pro version the link will be in the description of this video and to learn more about wordface elementary and woocommerce just follow my channel still if you have any questions you can ask in the comment section thanks for watching and i'll see you in the next